my dear student read this question now this question has a concern in which the data are given but in a different way they are simply asking what is the side distance but try to understand what exactly they want to ask and in this in which way they, are, they have given the data read this question now question says a driver of a vehicle is moving with 80 km per hour suppose on any road somebody is moving with 80 km per hour suddenly realized there is a speed limit signboard on which 50 km per hour is displayed I guess you must have felt this while moving on any road like you're moving with any high speed and suddenly you realize there is a signboard displayed and that signboard, signboard has a speed lesser than the speed which you're moving right the same situation I've given here you can see a, a vehicle is moving with 30 km per hour and he, there is a signboard which is displayed uh, 50 km per hour roadside if the reaction time of the driver is 2.2 second and the average coefficient of friction is 0.7 and the braking coefficient is also mentioned as 50%. Calculate the side distance required to follow the speed limit sign. My dear student, you must have solved the questions from uh, 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 like stopping side distance. But in any stopping side distance questions, my dear, what exactly you see like vehicle ultimately is going to stop somewhere. And that is why the derivation and the relation and the IRC norms, you take it accordingly. But now, my dear, whenever you talk about the gate examination, in gate examination, they always change something, which is the assumption taken in the actual theory. So considering these strategy of the examination, I have framed this question and you can see here the vehicle is not going to stop. Here the vehicle has intention only to reduce the speed from 80 to 50 km per hour. So ultimately, how you will calculate the side distance? Because here, the vehicle will not stop. Here, vehicle will simply slow down this vehicle, right? So now, you need to understand how exactly we will calculate. To my dear student, the initial speed is actually 80 km per hour. Under the reaction time, 2.2 second, vehicle must be traveling some distance. And after that, he will apply the brake. But he will apply the brake such that, he will apply the brake such that, the vehicle is going to reduce the speed from 80 to 50 km per hour. So ultimately, to reduce the speed, to follow the traffic sign rule, to follow the traffic speed sign board, right? What is the total side distance required? Can we say the lag distance, which is traveled under the 2.2 seconds reaction time, plus the braking distance under which the vehicle is actually reducing its speed from 80 to 50 km per hour, right? So. I can show you in this diagram, this will actually help you to understand. So guys, try to understand here. I have taken one example and this example will actually help out. Suppose we have any signboard and any driver is moving like this here at this position. Try to understand at this position, the driver has seen the driver actually seen driver sees the signboard at this position. driver sees a strip a speed signboard at this moment he is moving with 80 km per hour okay so after some time he will apply the brake he has applied the brake but with the braking efficiency of 50 percent uh, at this time the coefficient of friction they have mentioned 0.7 and braking efficiency is given 50% means what out of the total brake which he can apply he has applied only 50% of that very simple so now the driver applies brake when the driver applies brake here also the speed is basically 80 km per hour but after some time what will happen he will reach to a particular place and his speed will be 50 km per hour so now here the speed has 50 km per hour right here speed limit sign followed here the speed limit sign followed my dear student try to understand here the driver sees any sign board in which there is a speed limit sign given right at this time he is moving with 80 km per hour under the reaction time he is moving and after that he is applying the brake so can i say the distance traveled under this condition is actually called as the lag distance so this one is the lag distance and then the brake will be applied when the brake is applied after some time the speed will be reduced and this one is called as the braking distance it is braking distance you can see braking distance 
I hope it is clear to you. So now, when we talk about the breaking distance, we can write it is bas basically it is the sight distance we have. This sight distance, this will be basically including the lag and braking. But make sure that here the vehicle is not going to stop because he has a speed limit signboard. So only he is going to limit his speed up to 50 km per hour, my dear. So now ultimately here the formula will not be applied. And if you check any subject question and gate examination, my dear, you will just get to know that they have a trend. What exactly they do? Whatever is the actual formula which comes from the normal derivation, no? They make changes something in the situation they may change something in the formula or the derivation and then they ask the question and get examination the same strategy i have followed i have given you one question and i hope you can easily uh, resolve this type of the question my dear what i will do to in, in order to find the side distance i will find what is the lag distance we have so let's find the lag distance lag distance is basically the distance traveled during the reaction time and i can write it is point 278 v into tr my dear student this i guess you know 0.278 this uh, factor comes just because you're going to use the speed value in kilometer per hour if you use the speed value in meter per second then you don't require this directly it can be solved v into tr right but here we are going to use in kilometer per hour so we have taken this relation so now this is 0.278 this one is 80 speed multiplied by what was the reaction time 2.2 look at the question it is 2.2 seconds reaction time we have. All right. So let's check 0 0.278 into 80 into 2.2. 0 0.278 80 into 2.2. And this value comes. It is actually 48.928 meter. This is what you're getting. All right. It is just lag distance. Let's find the braking also, my dear. And you can, here you can see the braking distance. If you want to find braking distance, then breaking distance you will find according to uh, the speed which they are changing basically. So I will show you this diagram. This will actually help you to understand. Look at this. Here there are two different situations you need to understand. Here the speed is V1. At this position the speed is V1. And at this position the speed is V2. So ultimately to reach the speed from V1 to V2. What is the distance travel? This is what we are talking about. Right, what is the distance travel? So my dear student, it is actually LB, which is breaking distance, you can see. The speed is something like this, but here I will mark, here there is a friction working. You know that the friction is basically coefficient of friction into normal reaction. Normal reaction is equal to mg basically weight. Can we write, uh, in this situation, the change in kinetic energy is equal to work done? If you remember in the stopping side distance, we have the same uh, derivation also. Change in kinetic energy equal to work done you do. Here also we'll do the same thing. But in, the, in writing change in kinetic energy, the final kinetic energy must not be taken zero because here your vehicle is not going to stop. If you look at the actual derivation, my dear, in actual derivation, they have taken the speed zero because the vehicle is traveling and after applying the brake, after some time, it is going to stop in the real theory of the braking distance, which IRC or any book has considered. But here I have made a little change that here ultimately you're going to reduce your speed up to 50 km per hour. So we will not take it as zero. Instead of that, we can simply write like this. <coughs> we will write simply change in kinetic energy is equal to work done. And this change in kinetic energy, if you write, then this I can say it is a change in kinetic energy half mv2 square, half mv2 square minus half mv1 square is equal to final kinetic energy minus initial is equal to work done and work done basically which force is doing the work here that is friction only my dear so friction force is how much can we write it is mg is the force and mg and uh, coefficient of friction is f so my dear here basically the friction force if you talk about can be right it is f into n and f into n n is equal to mg so we can write it is fmg this is the force which is actually working and this multiplied by the displacement how much lb but one point should be noted like uh, this uh, force and the work is basically the force which is doing the work is backward direction and displacement ultimately coming in forward direction. I guess you know the work done whenever you write the force and displacement when they are in opposite direction, the work done will be negative here. So we can provide a negative sign here ultimately. So you can see the MMM cancelled out. 
and ultimately if you write what is the breaking distance have we have in this situation we can write this breaking distance is equal to here negative negative cancelled out or it becomes ultimately it is v1 square minus v2 square it is v1 square minus v2 square divided by 2 g f this is what relation coming my dear student let me just uh, compare it with the actual theory also in the actual theory it comes basically v square upon 2 g f because the final speed was zero but here we have some final speed and that is why we have taken so according to the derivation this is relation coming my dear or now if you want to change the units you can change it and you can solve or we can directly use this relation also what we can do let's now calculate what was the initial speed we have 80 km per hour no so we will write it is basically 5 upon 18 into 80 whole square minus 5 upon 18 into 50 square and whole divided by it is 2 into 9.81 multiplied by what is the coefficient of friction mentioned here in this one can we write the coefficient of friction mentioned is basically 0.7 and the braking efficiency mentioned is 50%. So on the basis of that can we write F and sorry here braking efficiency is given no. So we can write that F obtained ultimately is eta braking multiplied by F max. This is what you do. So eta braking is what 0.5 multiplied by F max is what 0.7. And this, how much is the friction taken? 0.5 into 0.7, ultimately we are getting 0.35 we have, right? 0.35. So I'll be using this coefficient of friction in this relation and that is 0.35. Let's work out how much this value we are getting ultimately. Let's check. It is 5 into 80 upon 18 whole square minus of 5 into 50 upon 18 whole square upon 2 into 9.81 into 0.35. This is the value we are getting and that is 43.82 meter. My dear student, you can see this is the braking distance required just to reduce the speed from 80 to 50 km per hour. Right? So now the lag distance you have seen already, braking distance you have seen. So now ultimately what is the side distance required? Sum of the lag and braking. So what we can write? here ultimately the side distance we can write side distance is basically lag distance plus braking distance let's check what was the lag distance we have it was 48.928 we will write it is 48.928 and plus what is the braking distance coming 43.82 so ultimately what is the value we are getting? This is 48.928 plus 43.82. This 92.748 meter is the final answer. Dear, I hope you are able to understand now. So whenever you solve this type of question, no, you can see like if you want to follow the sign board, then uh, here you are going to reduce the speed. Then how much side distance you require in order to follow the speed limit sign? This is how you calculate. I hope now it is clear to you.